it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University and in this lesson we are going to understand how to use Angular 2 HTTP, so the module, the standard module, to build our service layer. It's coming right up. So we have learned before that Angular 2 HTTP returns observables. So how should we use it? Should we just inject HTTP everywhere and just call it directly? The answer is no, we should use HTTP inside our service layer and our application, our components should call the service layer and get back observables. The application doesn't know actually where the data comes from. It can come from a REST backend, it can come from Firebase. That is transparent for the application itself. It's the service that knows where the data comes from. So let's see this in action. Let's pass to a list of lessons, the lessons data coming from the backend. For that, let's call the lesson service and call the load lessons method. This method will get us back an observable of lessons. So an observable whose values are arrays of lessons. Let's assign this to a variable lesson dollar. Again, this is an observable. Now, like any other observable, we need to subscribe to it. Let's do that and let's assign the result of the value returned from the backend to a variable that we can pass in to our lessons list. The member variable lessons is of type array of lesson and lesson is just a plain TypeScript class that we have defined. We can see it here. So in our success handler, we receive the next value of this stream, which is an array of lessons. We are simply going to assign it to our member variable lessons. We are now going to pass the lessons variable to our lessons list component. And this should print our lessons to the screen. But now what does exactly the lesson service look like? Let's have a look. Let's now implement the load lessons method in our lessons service service. So what we're going to see here is typical of how service layers are often implemented. This is just an option. There are other options. We're going to call HTTP. So HTTP stays inside the service layer and it's not used directly by the components. We call it, we call get lessons and we get back an observable. We map it into its data and we return it. This is very important. We return it from the service layer and the consumer will get an observable to which it can subscribe. While returning observables from the service layer, it's a good idea to add a type annotation to specify what is the type of the data returned. In this case, it's an observable of lessons array. Now that we have added the type annotation in the return of our function in the service layer, the application code, so the component that called the service layer, no longer needs to use type annotations itself. The lesson observable variable will be immediately known by the TypeScript compiler as being an observable of lesson array. So this is type inference at work helping us build our program. If we try this out, we can see now that the lessons data is being retrieved from the server and injected into our lessons list as expected. Now, this concludes our introduction to observables and HTTP. The reminder of this course of services in detail is going to be about the several common use cases of using observables. For example, combining multiple HTTP requests, doing an HTTP request after another, but only if the first request is successful, retrying an operation, canceling an operation. This is what we're going to cover right in the next few lessons. We're going to conclude in the end with an exercise. So stay tuned.